All right, y'all. Back in Simeo. Um, I'm gonna let's talk about how to use the expression reference guide to find what you want to find. So um, what I mean by that is if I'm trying to edit some expression, hmm, let's do like uh, yeah, let's go here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do balking and reneging logic. Um, so if I go onto the server, the buffer logic, and at the input buffer, I want to have some sort of conditional uh, balking and the bulk condition. Hmm, like I want to say, well, like what's the amount of things that are in the queue? And I'm like, okay, fast food. I oh, know, is that not the right one? Okay, let's tab that. And then, oh, there's a lot there. There is a lot. So what's the easiest way to find out what are the keywords that I need to type in order to find exactly what I want? So let's just exit out of this and we will use, let's ignore that error, we'll use under support the expression reference guide. So let's click on that. It opens up the HTML file. Okay, so the expression reference guide has hot links within it. So you can click on these and it'll take you to the appropriate header within the document. So uh, this navigates like a web page and the best way to do this is to uh, click on links and then to use the back and forwards arrows to navigate between uh, pa uh, places of this sheet. So for example, I need to find out something about servers. Well, a server is an object type so let's click on objects. Oh, cool. There's two different main categories of objects, right? Placed objects and base objects. And you can see that because I clicked on that objects header, now there is a, um, a unique URL, if you will, or file location that I am in this document. So I can actually just go back to where I was by clicking the back arrow. So I can navigate through like this. So I'll go objects and I want to learn about servers. Okay, click on server. Okay. This block talks about all servers. What is this saying? It's saying that servers, so if I were to have the server name, so fast food one dot resource state, that would be something that would pop up. Server uh, or uh, fast food one dot input buffer, that's something that would show up. Oh, the location inside the server where entities wait to be processed. That sounds like something that I'm interested in. Now I want to point something out. Server inherits from fixed. What does this mean? It means that server has all of these properties, right? Has these properties listed in this in this section, but it also has all properties of a fixed object. So if I click on fixed, fixed has some things like expected operation time for, expected setup time for, and some other ones. And fixed even inherits properties from object. So if I click on object, there are size, allocation queue, current capacity, cost, these things that belong to all objects. So since a server inherits from fixed and object, it's going to have all of those properties as as well as these unique ones that are uh, pertain only to servers. OK, so like I said, we want to find out. OK, let's talk about the input buffer. This, in, this sounds like the thing that I want, right? The location inside the server or entities wait to be processed. It is a station type. OK, well, if I click on station, is this element, oh, this input buffer is going to have these functions and states associated with it. Okay, so gets the current capacity, accesses the queue of entities that are physically located in the station. Contents, hmm, that sounds, that sounds right. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. That's an entity queue state. So if I go here and I go back to my model, um, I'll say uh, fast food one. So I use the down arrow to get that one and tab complete uh, dot. What do I say? Input buffer. Yeah, OK. Dot. Uh, what was it? Contents? Yeah, contents. OK, so let's see what this is. It says access is the queue of entities that are physically located in the station. OK, great. Uh, let's say if this contents is greater than or equal to uh, five, that might be the bulk condition for all entities. And now I've used this 
a super helpful reference guide to figure out the different um, logical elements that are uh, contained within each of these objects. Um, one last thing that I'll point out is you can see that there's these little objects here. Uh, sorry, these little icons. I don't want to use a different word. Um, the icons tell you what type of object the words are. So for example, um, uh, this is an object instance of fast food. So that when I say fast food, I'm actually referring to the object itself of the server block. So for example, fast food one is referring to the object block. And if I say dot, now these are properties. So these are fixed properties of that object. There's also things like a state variable allocation queue. It's keeping track of the queue of objects that are waiting to seize the resource. Um, there might also be uh, some namespace that is called capacity. Um, these objects are important. So when I refer to something like, let's type in the word uh, entity. So entity has this generic reference to entity, but there's also customer, which is an entity reference to the actual type of customer, right? Those are different. And the word model entity is different still. This is like a generic default definition for the entire project. So uh, it's important to note that when you are using the uh, expression editor, you're going to be faced with a lot of options and the best way to use this is to figure out, OK, what do I want in general? Use the expression reference guide, which is found under the support tab. Navigate through this document using the hyperlinks as well as the forward and back to navigate between things. Read about the objects and then use the name of the object. So in this case, fast food one dot input buffer dot contents right that is how you uh logically piece together the things from the expression reference guide and be able to implement them within an expression editor so i hope you found that uh helpful um best of luck in working through uh the things that are in here there's a lot of different options make sure you are reading the description of these things and verifying and validating this in your model to make sure that whatever you're referencing is actually the thing that you want to reference. Best of luck and happy modeling.